Hey everyone, welcome to how to fix the endless loading screen on Logitech G Hub. So as you can see, I've got it open here. I'm just going to quit it. Um, so theoretically, when you'd open Logitech G Hub, it would appear with an endless loading screen. So if I were to open uh, Logitech G Hub uh, myself here and push yes, um, it will open. Now, this is only possible because of a certain um, set of, um, I guess, things that I've done uh, to get this working. So I'm just going to close this, push quit. Um, so now my lighting is just the stock RGB uh, ripple. Uh, so this is how you fix it. So first of all, you want to open or go into your start and type in Logitech G Hub and right click and open file location and it should come up with this point right here um, once you reach this stage you want to right click this and open file location once again and it should take you to this mess um, of a folder uh, so it should look similar to this I may have more files here um, than you might uh, I'm not sure why um, but uh, I guess it depends on how many peripherals you have um, but yeah, so the reasoning behind um, why your G-Hub may be stuck on a loading sequence is because of your lack of admin privileges. Now, you may think that you are an admin. You can run programs ad as administrator. You have admin privileges on most things. Um, however, this could be altered by any kind of malware that you may have downloaded and removed um, and it can actually alter your admin privileges. So every time you open a service um, or program, uh, you have actually have to um, prove that you are the admin of this computer. Um, so it's it's ridiculous. Um, I've I'm still trying to uh, fix it myself because I still can't um, edit my Windows firewall, um, which is very dangerous. Um, so that's what it's done. Uh, it, it's also uh, completely eliminated any sort of um, admin privileges uh, when updating and launching these uh, services here. Um, the Logi Crash Pad Handler, the Updater, the Agent, and of course the actual application, the actual program. So what you want to do, um, now it doesn't have to be in this order, I don't think, um, but what you want to do is you want to open these services here, these three services, the crash pad, the updater, and the agent, all individually. So you want to right-click the updater and run as administrator. And then, of course, push yes. Now, nothing will happen. It's just going to start up and actually start updating the software. Um, now, that's, now that you've actually proved that you are ad, an administrator, go on, <laughs> difficult to say um, it will now actually proceed with the update um, which it actually requires admin privileges for it to update um, you then want to open the crash pad handler which uh, again doesn't have to be in this order uh, you want to run this as administrator of course push yes and you then want to open the agent as administrator so right click run as administrator push yes and of course, finally, the actual application. Now, if your peripherals actually change to the color that you set them as, uh, that means you've done everything right. Uh, and it's going to work once you right-click this and run as administrator, push yes, it will load, and here it is, your peripherals, uh, however many you've got, um, with all your settings and everything still intact. Um, so yeah. Now this should actually be a permanent fixture. Um, it shouldn't actually require you to do all this again uh, if you want to open the software, um, which is great. Um, so yeah, that is how you get it working. Now if it doesn't work for you, uh, I'm afraid that you may have to reinstall the program. However, if you're worried about your data, um, your mouse sensitivity or your lighting, um, then you actually can save this folder right here, which is data. It's got your lighting, uh, sounds, strings, which is your data, uh, all of your little um, 
settings that you may want to keep. They might be really uh, specific. Uh, so just save this folder and um, uninstall the program and reinstall it and then place this back into this uh, folder right here once it's reinstalled and that should work. Um, so yeah, I hope I am of assistance and uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope this helped.